Good luck to them. Bucks fifth. Jay Aston was just 19 years old when she was chosen to sing in the 1981 Eurovision entry, Bucks Fizz. I mean, to be quite honest, I thought it was going to be three minutes on the song for Europe. I didn't realise I was going to be involved in a band that was going to go on to be really successful um, and also be in this very long contract. I was overwhelmed at the press we got and the response to the record very early on and um, I'm pretty sure all the DJs started playing the record well in advance and they were sort of saying, you know, it's hotly tipped, we love this track. I hoped we'd win, I wanted to win, but I really didn't think we would and in fact we only won with a few points. The band made an instant impression with one particular costume change. It kind of evolved out of Cheryl and I basically not being able to agree something. She wanted to wear long 50s skirts and I wanted to wear short mini 60s little mini skirts. And um, she kind of jokedly in the kitchen one day, she went, oh, all right, then well, we'll rip them off in the middle and then I've got what I want and you've got what you want. And I went, yeah, it's a great idea. And we just sort of, it just kind of evolved out of that. But winning the Eurovision Song Contest was just the beginning. Well, Making Your Mind Up was a huge success. Um, and not just in England, um, all over Europe. And it went to, like, for instance, Australia never see Eurovision. But it was, like, number one for seven weeks. Um, South Africa, it was like number one for nine weeks. Uh, South America, we did a South American album and everything went into the top five and stayed in the charts for weeks and weeks. The gruelling schedule began to take its toll on the band. We were probably in about four countries a week, like, you know, into one country do a TV, loads of interviews, and it was just incredibly intense for about a year. Um, we were, like, virtually camped at Heathrow in and out, cars picking us up at 5am, TV show, stay in a hotel overnight, come back. Fundamentally, when you put four people together that come from completely different backgrounds, um, we all brought different things to the band, which is why it worked on camera and it worked on record. Then you've got to, like, live with those people, sort of, for years in, you know, you, you, you're, you're travelling with them, you're eating your breakfast, your lunch, your tea, and you're rehearsing. And so I think anybody in that situation coming from different backgrounds, um, it, the stresses and the changes in personality start to show with the stress and just being tired and also being together so much. You know, it's like a marriage with four people in it. Most assumed that with their chart-topping success,